Hi everybody, it's Jenny, and today I'm sharing another design team project for the Not Too Shabby Shop. And I'm going to be using a bunch of cute things that came out during the Valentine's Day release from Not Too Shabby, including a paper collection called My Sweet Valentine, with some coordinating ephemera and stickers, as well as a die. So my idea for this project was to create my own little mini notebook using this disc notebook I found at Dollar Tree. I'm going to use the discs from the Dollar Tree notebook and embellish and create a new notebook using the My Sweet Valentine papers. So first, I went ahead and measured the covers from the Dollar Tree notebook and they came to three and a quarter by four and a quarter. So I'm going to choose my pattern papers and cut them down to the same size and embellish them using the die cut pieces as well as some stickers. On two of my pages, I plan to add some pockets, so I trimmed down some more of the pattern paper, which I cut into rectangles approximately 3 inches by 2 and a half inches, and then I trimmed off one corner on each rectangle to create my pockets. Once my pockets are finished, I'm just going to tack them in place with a tiny bit of Tombow liquid glue. And then I'm going to go ahead and round the corners on all my pieces. So my plan for all these pages is to laminate them so that they last and hold up once they're together in the little notebook. But before I go ahead and run them through the laminator, I'm going to use some of the ephemera pieces and the stickers to decorate my pages.
Once I have my pages all decorated, I'm going to bring in my laminating pouches. And for the cover, I'm going to use the thicker pouch and then use just the regular other pouches for the rest of the pages. And so I'm just going to line these up inside the pouch and then run them through the laminator. pages through the laminator a couple times just to make sure that they're nice and adhered together and then I'm gonna go ahead and trim them down and then run them through again so that the seal is as close as possible to the edges as it can be Using an X-Acto knife, I'm going to create an opening where the pockets are on my two pages and then once again run them through the laminator just to make sure everything is nice and adhered.
after everything is trimmed out, I'm going to round those corners one more time where the plastic is from the lamination. And then I'm going to start punching the mushroom holes in order to add all my laminated panels onto the blue discs. So for the paper inside my little notebook, I planned on using the pink paper that came in the original notebook, but somehow I didn't punch the holes exactly the same, so the discs weren't sitting well when I tried to add that paper along with my panels. So you're going to see a stack of white paper, which I ended up just creating using some computer paper, and then the same punch and then I just go ahead and add those to my little notebook. Now that I have my little book completely assembled and decorated, I'm going to use two pieces of ephemera that I laminated earlier and turn them into paper clips. So in order to do that, I'm taking some Dollar Tree paper clips and I'm going to use some hot glue on the back of each of those um, laminated uh, images. And then I'm going to take two more pieces of ephemera as backings to place over the glue. Once my little paper clips are finished, I add them to my notebook and that's it. This is my cute little notebook that fits perfectly in my bag. It's all so coordinating and cute and sparkly looking, everything I love. So <laughs> I hope you enjoyed watching and be sure to visit the Not Too Shabby Shop at nottoshabbyshop.com and use code N2S10 for 10% off your order. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye.